Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see what is called lazy block loading. Now right now I have one block over here which is welcome block and welcome block is this one. I just have an event and this is the event and inside this I have a log which is called welcome block. Now this is injected right over here and I have a child for that. So I'm going to restart the app and we'll see how it goes. All right, so as the app restarts, actually it did already. So we see that it printed welcome block, which is coming from here. All right, now in our case, in this situation, we just have only one block, which is welcome block, and it got created automatically. Now here is a extra parameter inside this block provider. Now let's go ahead and set it. So this is called lazy. Now the default value is actually true. We can justify that. Okay, let's go ahead and check that. Now let's go ahead and set it to false. Now let's see how it works. All right, so regardless whether you set it to true or false, it's the same if you have only one block. If you set it to true, the idea is it says, well, do it lazily, do it whenever I need. But the problem is, if you just have only one block provider, it doesn't matter what you set it to, it works the same. If you can do it lazy true, of course, that's memory efficient and fast. Now we'll see this example, how it works for multi-block provider. Here we see that we have multi-block provider. Inside this providers list, we have two provider. One is welcome block and there is app block and uh, welcome block actually is used in this welcome class now let's go ahead and restart our app now over here we see that okay our welcome block has been created yeah and uh, but this app blocks didn't get created well it will get created if we go to the next page you'll see that here it says that app block created. Where is this coming from? This is coming from here. Now the idea is if you have multiple providers, multiple block providers, only one of them will get created immediately and in general this is the first one. Okay, it doesn't matter whether you're going to use this block provider or not. After getting injected, after creating this block, it doesn't really matter you're going to use it or not. If it's the first one, it will always get created. So that's the idea. But we can override this. Now, in our case, over here, we can use the property which we set early. We know that that's called lazy. Load it quickly. False means that as soon as possible. Set it to false. And it says that load it as soon as possible. Create the blocks as soon as possible. Now let's go ahead and check our log over here. Now here we see the log just changed. So first app blocks, that's get created and then welcome block. So if you have multiple block providers and you wanna control which block provider should be created first, which means that which block should be created first, you can play around with this lazy, this one, lazy set it to false. And of course, at the same time, you also have to make sure the order. If you have a lot of them, of course, the the earlier one would get created first. For example, now if I set it to false as well, lazy. Now we'll see that this welcome block, welcome block would get created first. All right? Okay. So yes, with lazy, you can make sure you can you can ask Flutter block to create your block first. But if you have a lot of them together then you have to make sure the order that which order you want them to be created yeah so that's how lazy block loading works and it's very memory efficient